In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear shocks on this BMW 328i. These are going to be located behind the rear wheels. Let's get into it. Now we're going to remove the wheel. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Take these lug bolts out. Before I take the last one off, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall that off, grab the wheel and pull it off. Underneath, we're gonna use a pole jack and just take some pressure off the rear suspension. Take a little pressure off the shock. Just raise it up a little bit. That's good. We're gonna take these two bolts out. You're gonna use an E12 socket. those out. Now you want to carefully lower the suspension and that's just going to hang like that. Okay, take that away. Inside the trunk, we're going to take these push pins out up top here. Just use a trim tool, pop these out. There's one back there. Now we're gonna take this hook out, use a T40 socket. Take that screw out and the cover. The cover will come right off, out of the way. Now take this cover out, just lift up on that handle and we'll pull that out and pull this cover off. You can use a straight blade screwdriver, take these covers off. Pop those push pins out. There's two down below. Another cover over here. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, take these screws out. And before you pull the panel out, just Pull this weather strip out. Then you can grab the panel. And just pull it up out of the way. And just grab the carpet. And let's pull this out of the way. It comes right out. There's a little cap right here. Just grab that, pull that off, and you can access the nut. Using a 16 millimeter socket, take this nut out. Take that off, a little bumper on top. We're gonna remove the lower nut or the shock mount. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Take that out. If you're able to pull the shock and mount out together, you can do that. Ours is just stuck in there a little bit. I just grab the shock. Pull it down, pull it out, and it comes right out. You want to transfer the top mount over. If you need to, just give it a little tap with a hammer. This one's a little bit rusty. And pull the bumper off as well, and the sleeve. Now for the base, just take a hammer hammer this off. If this came off with the shock, ours is a little rusty. You know, take that off and you can slide this on the base. It's going to be a little bit easier for us to install this in the lower control arm first and then install the shock. So that's what we're going to do. With the new shock, you want to compress it all the way down then let it expand and you want to do this three times now I take the lower mount slide that into the lower control arm now take the washer put the washer on I believe the old one was rotted away it was missing now we're going to take the shock 
We are going to compress the shock just so we can get it into the lower control arm. So just carefully, I'm just going to go up against the metal part, compress that, and as quick as you can, get the base in. We're going to have to compress it again to get it in here. There we go. It's lined up. Now take the top mount and nut, get that started. Snug that down. Now we're going to torque that to 20 foot pounds. That's good. Now there's a cap. You're going to put that on. Get that lined up. Push that back in place. Take this cover. It's lined up in place. going to use a trim tool to just push this back, make it easier, slip in place. Take this cover, go around the bracket, take the screw, get that started. Snug that down. I'm gonna take the push pins, line those up, push it in. This cover popped off on you, just push that cover back in place. And take this cover, get this lined up. Take the push pins, get those all started. All right, once those are all started, just push them in. Sometimes they're a little tight, use a hammer, just a small hammer and tap them in. Now take the screws, get these started, snug those down. Take the covers, get these lined up, push those in place, lock those down. Then the weather stripping. Just push that back in place. I'm right, just using the pole jack. I'm just going to raise up on the suspension. And you can use a pry bar. Just try to pry the mount into the right location. Take the bolts, get those started. Tighten those down, torque these to 40 foot pounds. Take the nut. The nut started for the shock. Snug that down and torque this to 28 foot pounds. That's good. Now lowered the pole jack. Now I'll put the wheel on. That lined up. Get the lug stud started.
put the other ones on, snug those down. Now we're gonna torque the lug bolts to 80 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.